so in the previous video we saw an introduction to the term plugins and uh, what are the prerequisites for the course so right now what we are going to be doing is look at how to set up the uh, development data now let's go ahead and set up our visual studio environment so to do that download visual studio first of all preferably visual studio 2019 you can also use any visual studio which is above 2015 including 2015 if you do not have visual studio 2019 now let's go ahead and create a new project In the different templates available, choose class library. With .NET framework. Click on next. And give a name for this project. Just going to call this sample create. and set the framework to be 4.5.2 do not select anything above 4.5.2 because at the moment dynamics 365 the microsoft uh, supports only dotnet framework 4.5.2 up to 4.5.2 for online versions so let's and uh, the organization which we'll be using is an online organization so uh, we'll need the 4.5.2 so let's go ahead and uh, create the solution okay so now our solution is ready now what we need to do is we'll need to first of all install the plugin registration tool package through the package manager console to our solution do that go to tools new get package manager package manager console okay now you need to download the plugin registration tool package to your solution to do that you get visual studio just search for it open that link now in this select the plugin registration tool you get package and just copy this to your clipboard go back to your visual studio and paste it over here wait for it to install and once you got the message saying successfully installed you're ready to move on to the next step okay so um, before we move on to the next step, let's just take a look at our uh, plugin registration tool package which has been downloaded. To do that, go to the local folder in which your uh, solution has been saved. So in my case, this here, and open the folder created called packages select this tools and there you go so plugin registration tool is a tool which you'll be using to register your plugins onto the dynamic crm server 
that is by server i mean your crm organization so let's uh, come back to the plugin registration tool at a later point but in this folder you will be having the you'll be having some of the dlls which you'll need for your plugin uh, solution to reference for example the xrm.sdk.dll and then another one which we consistently use is crm.sdk.proxy.dll etc so this folder will contain some of the main dlls which will be used for plugin download in the next video we'll be looking at how to perform create and read operations in plugins